Hi. So hopefully this will become a instructional video on how to replace the pedal assembly. Uh, my particular Mercedes here is an SLK 320 with a manual transmission. Um, I got the code P0120, which is a bad pedal because it's, they don't use wires in these anymore. It's all electronic. So I've got the new pedal in the box here. the new one in so I'm gonna see if I can do it first tricky part is to get this plastic cover off over here and if you take it off which you'll see I believe that's a 10 millimeter nut so that's supposed to be the hardest part there's also a washer in there that's tough to get out so we'll see what happens okay so I got the uh, the nut off it's a 10 millimeter but there is a washer in there that is a bear to get out. So that's gonna be my next challenge. We'll see what I can figure out. Okay, as you can see, I was successful. Although I will, I'd be lying if I didn't tell you it took a lot of effort. That washer, which is right here, was a bear to get out. So actually what I ended up doing is I disengaged the pedal. There's a little plastic piece there, you see it there. I ripped that out of the side. I mean, actually you didn't rip it out and then I just sort of folded this part down and pulled up and it popped that washer out. So I've got the new unit here. I'm gonna pop it in. There is a plug up at the top there that you need to be mindful of. You just basically push it on the sides and it comes out pretty easily. So let me put the new one in and see what happens. Okay, well there it is. The new pedal is installed. The moment of truth is upon us. Let's see if this thing revs up. Okay, so I started her up and she's revving up. Now I'm gonna take it for a test drive and make sure everything's good to go. Okay, so it appears that I'm back in business. Just let you know the tools I used was just a simple code reader that I got off of Amazon. It told me what the problem was. 10 millimeter socket. And you need plenty of light because obviously it's dark down there as you can see. The other thing I did is I took the uh, floor mat out and I actually placed it here on the ground. Because that's where your knees are going to be quite a bit while you're working. Uh, I'm not a small guy so getting down in there was kind of taxing. But the job is done. One word of caution, the reason this all happened is because the car obviously is stored during the winter. I did not have a battery tender on it, so the battery was dead. And I guarantee you that probably was part of the problem. Uh, I did put a new battery in, and it looks like we're back in business. So I'll probably get a battery tender on this uh, for next winter. Okay, enjoy. Good luck.